Hello beautiful Libras. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is your love messages for Libra in love for the third week of April. Take care. These readings are timeless though. So if you come across and it belongs to you, it is your reading. Okay Libra, what do we have for you? We have in the recent past, you are, <laughs> you feel totally imprisoned by some sort of love situation. Self-imposed restriction. It looks like you're not speaking to someone and you are not happy about it. That is Gemini energy. So we do have Mars and Gemini. Could be, could be an argument. Who knows? But we don't know that yet. The Ace of Swords. Right now you have great clarity about whatever it is that happened. Libra, Libra. Okay. Well, we don't always like great clarity when it comes with a big sword. It usually hurts, right? But it's usually good. Okay, wow. So now, Libra, we have your energy. We have Gemini energy. Now we have Aquarius energy. So I don't know if you're dealing with a sun sign, but my gosh, Aquarius energy. You view your love life in the future and the situation as something that you just need to be very, you need to detach from. Aquarius energy, you could be... You could have been hurt by a friend for those with whom it resonates. The Aquarius, Aquarius, excuse me, the sign of Aquarius rules the 11th house on the astrology wheel, which is friendships and associations. So if you're not in a love relationship, you know, you can take it however it resonates. It could be any anybody you care about. Your energy right now in the way that the world views you is the nine of pentacles. You are single, ready to mingle. The Eight of Coins, you might be learning something new. We're seeing this energy of um, really in your heart space, focusing on yourself, focusing on your well-being. You have released something, Libra, Judgment Card. You have released someone or some situation that just had you all tied up. Oof. Difficult energy, but wow, you look like you're doing beautifully. You really do. I like it. You really have, that's a beautiful uh, set of cards for somebody who feels as though they were in this sort of energy. Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, Ten of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Cups is happily ever after. So that's hidden energy. You are carrying the torch for someone that you love very, very much. It does look like it's mutual. So I don't know if you're having a hidden relationship or what, but Nine of Cups. Spirit's advice is have fun, enjoy yourself, cut loose, don't hold yourself back, get out, mingle, you know, have fun, spend time with your friends, your pals, celebrate life, it's good. All right, what's your outcome at this time for where you're at in love? And we're going to dig into that, that very beautiful Ten of Cups energy that is in your hidden space. Nine of Swords, Libra. Well, you have remorse and regret and some sleepless nights here. So what is happening? Let's clarify these cards, Libra. What are the clarifiers for the Eight of Swords? The Nine of Swords, the Judgment. Well, we have a lot of clarifiers to put out. So let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here for our Libra friends? I don't like to see you unhappy, Libra. Let me see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, Two of Cups. You're not talking to somebody with whom you've been very close. Two of Cups is best friends. It's really a deep love relationship. And, you know, there. this could be family for many of you. Because the Ten of Cups can be family. And it does show that you're single. So I would say that for many of you, this Two of Cups energy is you're either not talking to somebody from the past, somebody who you released, somebody who released you. Uh, but I feel as though you released them. That's your energy. Um, you felt you had to. So, but it does look like there was a situation. There was a situation, but you have remorse and regrets. So you might have feel as you might feel as though you didn't handle it well. But let's see, Ace of Swords here. What is the Ace of Swords? The clarity. What is the clarity we need to have about this love message with the Empress card? Empress card and the Nine of Wands. 
So somebody has fire in their belly, you have fire in your belly for someone you'd like to really move forward in a relationship and Empress card is a planet Venus. So when we look at Venus, she's all about love and family and you know, it can be a desire to have a baby, you know, it looks as though right now, you know, you're willing to do whatever it takes, but it'll resonate differently with everybody. So take it as it, as it resonates with you. Why is the King of Swords energy here? Why are you being cool, calm, and collected at this time, Libra? Let's see what we have. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords twice. That is often a new beginning. A new beginning with a lot of clarity. Truth be told. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Interesting energy. All right. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here with the King of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the King of Swords? So you might have gotten some news or you might have received some news. Okay, so let's see. Nine of Pentacles. So this is very interesting. You have a lot of clarity, Libra, that says that you've been in relationships that you've released that you don't want to repeat. So I'm getting that if somebody doesn't really come to you with the truth, if they show red flags, ah, here we go, look at that. You, oh, the judgment card again, you will release them. You will release anybody who doesn't really tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. What I'm seeing is that for most of you, you know, you'd rather be single than to be in a relationship that may, you know, with somebody who's dishonest. I also get you are after your happiness. The sun card says that you're well on your way. You are in a state of happiness because of good decisions that you've made. You've opened up opportunities and it does look like somebody from the past has returned or is returning in the near future. So somebody who makes you very happy. Nice, okay. This could also be a situation in which somebody got divorced in a, you know, for some, that won't be for everybody. Uh, it also looks like a situation where um, you may have left somebody behind because, or you might have been on lockdown. It looks as though for some of you, you might not have been able to see someone at a distance. All right, so let's look at this Nine of Pentacles. The King of Swords, you are just making headway in your life. Whatever you do, you're brilliant at it. I always think when I look at this King of Swords that you have so much clarity about what you're doing, what you're, how you're going to earn money, how you're feathering the nest, how you're taking care of yourself. For many of you, you are focused on investments, you are focused on property, you are focused on your abundance and you are not going to let anybody take that away from you. The two of coins says you're not sure about your path at the present moment in love. The nine of swords, you've got the nine of swords twice. Again, there's something, there's a memory that's haunting you and it haunts you throughout the week at this time. Why are you so haunted here, Libra? And it's in your heart space. It's somebody who could have juggled you, somebody who can't make a decision, somebody who doesn't have the clarity you have, and you are, we got the Eight of Pentacles again. This is a very, we've gotten Judgment card twice. We've gotten the Ace of Swords twice. And now we're getting that you've learned something twice. And what you've learned makes you really feel sad. We're, you know, we've gotten this Nine of Swords is twice. So, I'm sorry, I feel badly for you, Libra, for whom this resonates. So if it's your reading, my heart goes out to you. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Now, the Ten of Cups can be hidden love, but I, I feel with all those swords that you are not about to be a part of a secret love affair. You might have a secret love with somebody who I think is from the past. The Ace of Coins, oh Libra, look at you're gonna see your person. Three aces in the reading says that you will see your person in the near future. The Five of Coins reversed means that you will not be locked out of this person's life. I do think for many of you, this could be at a distance. You could be in sort of like pandemic lockdown with a lover who lives in another place. 
Okay, that'll be only for a few though, again. Why is the Nine of Cups? Spirit is saying, party hard, have fun, be joyful, be happy, don't worry. We've got the Sun card, which says the same thing. You've made really good decisions, Libra. And the Three of Swords energy. Spirit is saying, after a period of time of having remorse and regret over somebody that was juggling you do we have yeah we have the two of coins these are my two cards always together that somebody juggled you and you didn't know about it they weren't honest with you and the three of swords that they have a connection to somebody else so spirit is saying be happy don't worry you know let go release you know it's very powerful energy what's yours can't be denied you libra why is the Nine of Swords here for your final outcome at this time? You know, remember that these readings are moments. They're a snapshot of the moment. These are not forever predictions when we do Tarot. It changes. Okay, Queen of Cups energy. Look at that, Queen of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is that for some of you, um, you may have a situation in which you really, really love someone, and it just looks as though they love you back. I do feel it so that you're going to hear that someone loves you back. The Queen of Cups with the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Coins with the Sun card uh, tells me that as a practical matter, it looks like it's very difficult. This is a card of collaboration, but you can see it's being wasted, right? It's dropping, the coins are dropping off of her head, and she doesn't look so interested in saving them. So what I get is that there is some sort of love that is shared. There is some sort of healing that goes on. You do learn that your person really loves you. Uh, the three of coins can be that they can't give you what you want, right? Quite literally in a collaboration. I feel as though that's where the problem is. Um, I also think for some of you that this is going to mean that you've been dating somebody who said they were getting a divorce and they might have not been as honest about the development of the divorce or the status of the divorce. So let's see what... Oh, look at this. We also have the devil card. You're not going to be in a straight jacket. That's what this judgment card is about. When we look at this, we have judgment twice, Libra. You're not going to be in devil energy. That is something that you've already decided. So it's interesting that that came up. Look at this, the death card also. And the ten of swords. You're, you're not. The death card is on toxic energy in which you feel destabilized by being stabbed in the back. Okay. So that is, uh, that's a very good decision. It's the only way you could go. It's very King of Swords. It's like, it is what it is. You know, it's that energy of taking the truth and living with it and accepting it and doing what you need to do. So it does look like love is still here. It looks like it's growing. You have a beautiful seed. You have a coin. It looks like you're soon to see your lover. Uh, but I would say that there's a lot of healing that has to go on. And for some of you, this is new love. You're just, you know, you have someone new in your heart space that you're going to move forward with. Okay. So let's see what we have here, Libra. This is from the Shaman Dreams Oracle. Dances on one foot. You're in a balancing act right now. So you're trying to balance old and new. Decisions that you've made that you feel very good about. Decisions that you made that were very much painful to make, but were the right decisions to stay out of toxic energy. You just don't want to be in that energy. And we have whale song resonating. You're going to resonate with this happiness. You're going to resonate with your abundance. You're going to resonate with everything that you bring to the table and honor who you are. Let's see what the Queen of the Moon Oracle says about sort of the emotional underlying energies for you. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have. Libra, Libra protection. You're divinely protected. Good. That's very important. Okay, you really do love somebody, though, very deeply, and they love you. 
these these cards are very significant self-reflection well you're trying to say you know what did i do you're looking at yourself and you're analyzing the steps and actions that you took that got you in trouble and also what you're going to do to manifest this beautiful energy it is manifesting it's brewing beneath the surface libra so you on you are on your way to happily ever after um, but you have been through a process libra sending you love Take care, like, subscribe, share, and comment, please. And I hope to see you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.